Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. In this related rates problem, I want to talk about a baseball player running to second base. So here's the situation. Suppose I have a baseball player that's running from first base to second base at a rate of 25 feet per second. That's approximately 17 miles an hour. I want to know how fast is the baseball player moving away from the catcher when the player is 40 feet from second base. And we're going to assume that a baseball diamond bagged bag is 90 feet. So this is how I'm going to take care of it. First thing we need to do is draw a rough sketch of, well, our baseball diamond. So, like I said, rough sketch. I got home, first, second, third. Where is the baseball player? Well, the baseball player is somewhere between first and second. And I want to know how fast is the player moving away from the catcher. And we're just going to assume that the catcher is standing on home plate. I'm not going to make a big deal about you know the rules or anything at this point. I know the player is moving away from first base and going towards second. So... Let me just bring up the problem again really quickly. I know certain things. One, this distance is always going to be 90 feet. The distance between first and the player, I am going to call this X because I have a nice triangle sitting there. So I want to know how fast this dotted line, this distance is changing. Let's just call this Z. So what's my model for this problem? A Pythagorean theorem might be good. X squared plus 90 squared is equal to Z squared. And what do we know? Well, we know that dx dt, that's 25 because the person is running at 25 feet per second. What do we want in this problem? We want to know what dz dt is. At, well, is it x equals 40 or x equals 50? The 40 is referencing the player and second. So we want this when x is equal to 50, not 40. Just be really careful about that little subtlety there. So let's put some of this together here. I'm going to take a derivative of this, and then I'm going to plug in my information. 2x dx dt is equal to 2z dz dt. Remember, the derivative of 90 squared is 0. So I can plug in certain things. Well, one thing, I'm just going to cancel the 2's on both sides. So x is equal to 50. dx dt, well, that's 25. But what about z? How do we figure out z? Well, when x is equal to 50, I know that whoa, 50 squared plus 90 squared is equal to z squared. So very quickly, I'm going to still jump into mathematics very, very quickly here. Um, I'm going to take a square root of 50 squared plus 90 squared. And let's see, 10 root 106. So z turns out to be 10 root 106. That's equal to 10 root 106 dz dt. I'm going to cancel these. That's going to be a 5. So I'm left with dz dt. Being 5 times 25 over root 106. Now. Units. Z is measured in feet. 
T is measured in seconds. This is going to be in feet per second. And that's a, another related rates problem. I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a great day. Bye.